Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25227. This is the first build in the last two weeks, so we finally have a new build for the dev channel. In this video, as always, we're gonna talk about what is new, what is fixed, and also what has changed in this build. And if you enjoy videos like these, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is providing an ISO download link for this build, so you can just go into the article below in the description. You're going to have a link where you just have to select the edition that you want to download. In this case, it would be the build 25227. Then you can click on confirm, select the product language, click on confirm, and the ISO download will be provided to you as a 64-bit ISO. This build includes improvements for IT administrators. More info about that will be in the article below in the description. This includes deadline calculations, specified deadlines for automatic updates and restarts, and more features like this. As I've said, more info in the article below in the video's description. First of all, in this build, we have some changes and improvements regarding the start menu. Microsoft is trying out a small change to the start menu, where some insiders will see badging on their user profile, notifying them that certain actions need to be taken. This is not enabled for me, but if I found a way to enable this, of course, I'm going to make a separate video in which I'm going to show you how to enable it. Microsoft is also trying out some different positions of the header with new icons for the widgets board to learn how to best optimize the widgets board for users. By using monoline icons, the goal is to bring consistent, clean, and accessible icons to communicate action and features with simple visuals for users. Of course, you're going to have screenshots on the screen to see how that looks. We also have some changes regarding input and voice typing. You can check more info about those in the article below in the video's description. We also have some changes into the settings app. So for example, in the system settings, section, then storage, and then disks and volumes. A new dialog will warn users of potential data loss if they elect to change the partition style of their storage drive. Also, Microsoft updated the Ethernet and Wi-Fi property pages and settings to now show gateway information in the network details summary. We also have a new update for the Microsoft Store version 22209, which includes pop-up trailers for games and movies. A new way of interaction is added for you to preview trailers of your favorite games and movies. Movies. So basically, this is it for this build. If I find ways to enable some hidden features that are in this build, of course, I'm going to make videos in the following days. Now, let's talk about some fixes. We have some fixes regarding the tablet optimized taskbar, for example. They fixed an issue that was causing explore.exe to crash while switching between apps on the tablet optimized taskbar. Starts, touch gestures should now follow your finger correctly with the tablet optimized taskbar. Improved how touch gestures and their animations with the tablet optimized taskbar work with the touch key keyboard and also you can now swipe up from within the taskbar with a pen to expand the tablet optimized taskbar. Regarding the new system tray, they fixed an issue causing explore.exe to crash when dragging icons in the system tray. Right clicking system tray icons should no longer cause the auto hidden taskbar to hide incorrectly. The show hidden icon panel on the system tray should no longer block context menus opened after it. Fixed an issue where the first time you tried to open quick settings from the system tray it wouldn't work and they also fixed an issue that was preventing system tray icons icons from updating in real time. Regarding the file explorer, when you scroll to the bottom of the navigation pane using a mouse wheel and try to scroll back up, it should no longer get stuck at the bottom. They fixed an issue which could cause certain apps to hang when opening the open file dialog or save file dialog. They made another fix for a case which could lead to people seeing divider lines overlapping entries in the navigation pane. Regarding the start menu, they fixed an issue where dragging content across an open start menu folder could cause a crash. And regarding search, they made a fix to help address an issue where search might not respond when clicking on the search icon in the taskbar and also opening images from search should no longer unexpectedly open them in print. Regarding settings, the size of UWP apps under apps and startup shouldn't be so small now. And finally, regarding task manager, dragging task manager from the bottom area of the title bar to move the window should work now. Basically, this is all there is to it in this build. As I've said, if there are any hidden things, I'm going to make videos in the following days. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below. And also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.